Functions are simply text files that you can drag and drop into your Minecraft worlds to run multiple commands at once. For example, if I ran a simple function which I've written for the Tempests box, this is just one command here, but look what it does. I am actually running lots and lots of commands to make this work. You just can't see them. They're right here. So how does one actually make a function? Well, let me show you. Obviously, to do this, we're going to need a world. So you can use an existing world if you want, but I'm just going to create a new one here. And we're just going to call this my world. That's a good name. I'm going to set this to creative. Uh, doesn't really matter for you, but let's uh, just make sure that cheats are enabled so we can test them. And let's create the new world. Dun, dun, dun. Now we've created our new world. Normally, you'd have to exit the world at this point. But thanks to functions, you don't have to do that. Let's pause the game. To use a function, you either need to download one or you can make one. Let's just make a really quick one right now. So we're just going to call this something called uh, say hi.txt or something like that. It has to be a txt file. So you can double click it and it will bring up Notepad. Or if you're super technical like me, then you can use Notepad++, which you can download for free. Now I'm just going to put a hashtag here. This is just a little comment. It doesn't actually mean anything um, and it doesn't do anything. So I'm just going to say something like made by dragon, just because I can. Now I'm going to run an actual command. Like we're going to make this function say hi, and then we are going to make it do a flame particle. So now I've written a very simple function that says hi and does a flame particle where you're standing or where the entity that's running the function is standing. Pretty simple stuff. Now we need to try and find a way to put this function that we just wrote into our world. So I'm just going to go to my start menu and then I'm going to type in run, open that, percent app data percent is what I've written in here, press OK. And then you can go into your Minecraft then go into your saves folder and look, there's my world. So I'm going to double click that, go into data, go into functions, and we're just going to create a new folder because you've got to keep your functions into a folder. I'm going to call this my folder and then I'm just going to drag and drop that into there. Now this world should have our function. And if you really, really want, let's just copy this and this one's going to be called say bye. Okay, so I might just have a second folder in here just for the demonstration purposes. So second, drag that in there. And here's my say bye, so I might just edit that so it says say bye. And now both those functions should be in the world now. Now running the function should be pretty easy. Just go forward slash function and I called it my folder. Then I need to put a colon there and then I just run the function, right? Well, it says it doesn't exist because we didn't actually reload the world. So I'm just going to do forward slash reload and then we should be good. So let's do this again. And as you can see, it says hi. And we saw that flame particle happen, which is great stuff. Now, if we wanted to access that second folder, then we need to go second folder forward slash say bye. And I must have done something wrong. What did I call that folder? I called it second, not second folder. So make sure you get everything right when you do that. And there we go. And as you can see here, it says bye. So everything works great. But that's not entirely useful. What if we wanted to do something better? One thing we could do is give ourselves a command block. Give at p command block. Now I'm going to place this down just for an example. And I'm just going to say we're going to execute from any entity that is an armor stand. And we're going to run that function. So remember the folder? It was called my folder and then we're going to call it say hi. All right, now let's put this armor stand on top. And if we pull the lever, then yay, it runs the function from the armor stand instead of from me, which is good. Now, if I turn this into a repeating command block, we can make this even more useful. There we go, that's a bit pretty. Um, spams the chat quite a bit, and I also did game rule command block output false to stop the uh, ridiculous spam chat that was happening before. So this is a pretty wicked shot of everything. I've got my uh, commands up here, I've got my folders down here, and I've got my Minecraft up here, so you can see everything nicely. Let's change the say hi command a bit. Let's just remove this because this is causing spam, and I'm going to actually just modify this function in general. Now I've modified the say hi.txt, so it executes from any player, and if they stand on cobblestone, then they should get speed. So let's try this. Well, what's going to tell the function to run? It doesn't know. So what we're going to do is we're going to go game rule 
and then we're going to say game loop function and then we need to tell it what to loop so we need to say my folder again and then we're going to loop that say hi function there we go oh it's doing the wrong things you know why because i didn't reload reload that and now it should be running this function here let's see if it works hey i get speed so now i can run functions constantly without me having to call them all the time one last thing please use anything after 1.12 pre 1 do not use pre 2 because functions are broken in that snapshot as well so hopefully those issues will be fixed in the future but please make sure you're using the correct version i hope you learned a lot from this tutorial and next episode i will be showing you how to make a function that does this See you in the next one. Oh yeah, and I made this video for you guys. It's called Why Command Block Tutorials Never Work For You. So if this tutorial doesn't work, then I suggest you check out this video before complaining to me. Anyway, here's a preview. I get tons and tons of comments saying that my tutorials never work. However, it does work for other people. So maybe it's not a problem with my tutorials, but you could be making some errors in your own commands. I'm going to run through some problems that people have with command blocks and I'm not